Ladies' Day at Epsom, and once again the Anglo French rivalry on the famous downs with the 174th renewal of the Phillies classic, the Oaks. And competition off the course, too, as the latest British and French creations catch the eye of punters trying to weigh up the Phillies' form in the big race. And here they are, a parade of well bred young ladies with number one, Via Capri, showing them the way. Among them are four French hopes seeking to gain revenge for the eclipse of their boyfriends in the derby. And yes, it's a good start for the field of 19, beginning their testing mile and a half. And it's number three, our bell, making a determined French raid on that 16,500 pound prize. But number 13, Freeze, the Northern Hope, is gaining ground. Round the wide bend, and it's Arbel keeping right on the rails, and Freeze fighting for mastery. Followed by Zabara, Palamis, the Busak second string, and Moonstar in that order. Down the hill to Tattenham Corner, and Freeze forges ahead, but Arbel is still there. Is jockey Ray Johnston saving his mount for his traditional swoop on the winning post? Tattenham Corner. Jockey Edgar Britt on freeze takes her over to the rails. He's coming home the shortest way. Our bell's dropping back while the crowd hopes for a great British Epsom double. Into the straight. Still, it's freeze, staying home like a winner. But now Zabara, the Guinness winner, is trying to get to grips with Moonstar coming with a run. But it's freeze all the way. Three lengths up on Zabara with Moonstar third and the Brighton Bell fourth. The first four places for homebred fillies and Captain Keith proudly leads in his northern trained winner. Yes, British horses certainly swept the board in the Epsom Classics, leaving the French invaders out in the cold. In fact, it's a freeze they'll never forget. <laughs>